All right, let's take a look at multiplying radical expressions. These are these are kind of fun. So let me remind you before we before we multiply. Let me remind you that if we had something like the square root of twenty, that we could simplify this. Okay, we could split it up into the square root of four times the square root of five. Okay, and why do we do that? Because we know the square root of four. Uh, if, if we tried to split it up into the square root of two times 10, we don't know the square root of two or the square root of 10. We do know the square root of four, which is two, so two square root of five. So I just wanted to show you when you simplify that you can take this number and you can split them up into two radicals and likewise you can put them together back into one radical so let's take a look at that that's what we're doing here so this first question says ask us to multiply the square root of seven times the square root of five and you could do that you could put it all under one radical square root of seven times five you can do it if it's multiplied okay you can't do it if it's added or subtracted and then 7 times 5 is 35. So if they asked us to multiply it into one radical, that's what we get. Now, it didn't really help us here any because we, we can't simplify the square root of 35. But we did what they asked us to do. Now, look at this one, the square root of 15 times the square root of 10. Now, these are going to do something cool when we put them together. So first... Let's write it all under one radical, the square root of 15 times 10. Okay, and now I know that 15 times 10 is 150. And now I can simplify this now. The square root of 150, what's a perfect square that goes into 150? And if you're thinking about money, $1.50, you're thinking that 25 cents quarter goes into there. So 25 does go into 150. So now I will split it up again, and I'll call this the square root of 25 times how many quarters make $1.50? Six. And now I know the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is five. So 5 squared is 6. So in this case, when they wanted me to multiply these two radicals, I, I can't simplify 15, and I can't simplify 10. Square root of 15, I don't know it. Square root of 10, I don't know it. But when I put them together, I end up being able to simplify. Pretty cool, huh?